Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you what a Japanese supermarket looks like and also I'm going to try to teach you how to prepare Japanese hot pot. Today I finished my first week at my new job and I have this tradition that I always treat myself whenever I finish something at a new job or new school so today I decided despite the lockdown to go out and make a hot pot at my house so here I am just cycling to the supermarket I usually use my bike to cycle around I really don't like the trains because especially now I don't want to be on them so it's actually really convenient to take my bicycle everywhere and I live within a good biking distance to all the shops. So here we are at the first supermarket. I usually go to two supermarkets. This one is more of a, it feels like a farmer's market. So they've got a lot of fresh meat and fresh vegetables at really cheap prices. So luckily I could buy all of these ingredients plus more for just a little over 1,000 yen. Oh, and I won't be buying fish, but just look at how fresh that is. Here's a view of the street, and I'm about to go and cycle to the second supermarket. Listen out for the music that they play on the street. I don't know why, but this street always has music playing, like Small World or Disney music an old house it's actually it feels really safe to cycle around Japan it's not like Dublin at all <laughs> ah here I am in the second supermarket so this is the frozen section the frozen section is actually really small most people in Japan like to buy fresh produce Here's some of it, some vegetables, I usually buy vegetables but I never really buy fruit because look at how much those apples are, four apples cost about five euro, there or thereabouts, so it's like impossible to buy fruit in Japan. Ah, and I left my bike out when I went into the supermarket and I left my bags in my bike. You can do that here. No one will take them. Well, touch wood. It hasn't happened yet. Tadaima. I'm back with my shopping. I just got back so I went and I did how much I bought in both of the stores and in total for all of the ingredients that I bought I spent around 300 yen I love you. Uh, no sorry 3000 yen I wish 300 yen 3000 yen which is about mm, it's a little bit less than 30 euros so actually it was quite good for everything that i bought um so as you saw i went to two different supermarkets so the first thing that's important for a hot pot is the what's this called like sauce stuff i'm not sure but this is it says miso miso so i really like miso flavor so this is strong miso and i got but yeah, I got udon, and this udon is for putting in afterwards. Uh, like I said, so this is not a Japanese person's guide. This is an Irish girl doing her best in Tokyo to try and cook some nice food. Now, also, because I'm lazy, I bought this pre-chopped garlic, and I'll put that in too. And I bought these sticky potatoes. So they're like chewy, crunchy potatoes and they stick 
together. They're a bit weird, but I like them anyway. So that's what I bought in that store for the hot pot. Um, the first store that I went to, I bought all the fresh produce because I just find that it's it's better there and it's cheaper there. So the first thing I bought is this huge radish. Ah! <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, like, does anybody know? Can I freeze this? I feel like I'm only going to use about this much. So I bought this to put in because it's so tasty. Some Chinese lettuce. I got some, this is like fried tofu, kind of, it's squishy and it's, I like it a lot. It's really tasty. And then I love mushrooms, so I bought shimeji mushroom. And I got enoki mushroom. This one's really like a strange texture. It's like bouncy or something. I don't know, but it's nice. And oh, I forgot what these are called. These things, what are they? Mm, roots, I don't know. But they go on top of the hot pot. And I bought some cognac. Uh, cognac is, I, I think it's potato starch, um, and it's really chewy, kind of like noodle. It looks like pasta or noodle, but it's really, really, really chewy. And then the last thing I bought was meat. So it's three hundred and fifty-seven yen. So it's about three euro for all this meat, but I don't know. It looks really nice, and yeah. So. So Let's cook. first you have to cut the onions. I usually cut them into just whatever shape I feel like that day. And then the Japanese radish. I don't know if you can get this in Ireland or outside of Asia. I'm not sure. And this is the Chinese lettuce. And cut it in two, wash it, and then prepare the hot pot sauce. Wait for it to boil and then add in the ingredients. So you can see that I first added in the onion and the Japanese radish and just wait for it to get a little bit more hot. And this is the cognac that I showed you earlier. So you can see it's it's almost see-through and it's very sticky and you have to give it a good wash. Next put in the potatoes. You can use normal potatoes, I just use sticky potatoes because they're available in Japan and I prefer them to normal ones. And after that I put in the meat when the water is really boiling. Next I added the mushrooms. I think in Japan it's common to cook the meat with the rest of the food like this in the dish. I don't know about Ireland or in Europe but in Japan you can put the meat in with the rest of like the broth and the vegetables and it cooks really well it leaves a really nice taste perhaps I overloaded on the mushrooms but I really like them and then the cognac just adds like a nice texture into the hot pot cover it over and then put it down to medium heat and wait for it to cook a little bit. You. you can see I've added in the rest of the ingredients like the tofu, uh, the Chinese lettuce and those roots things that I don't know the name of. Itadakimasu! So thank you everybody for watching my video about how to make hot pot. I hope that these ingredients are available in your country. I'm not sure. I never tried to make it outside of Japan, but all I can say is that it was really, really delicious. And after just two bowls, I was extremely full. So thanks for watching.